segment two of Magic Craft Rose at Dazzler's Fest. Jonathan Berner is back and will show you more about the Magic Craft Rose as well as demonstrating the use of the Wild Flyer, which is free with the purchase of the Rose at Dazzler's Fest. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is uh, the, the whirl back here on the Rose. There's a lot of different speeds on this whirl. Um, down here is going to be the slowest and then if you're doing something finer uh, or you need more twist you can come all the way down here uh, to the faster speeds. For right now I'm going to go ahead up to the slower speeds. Now to get the wheel started um, you'll tie your leader thread onto your bobbin and then with this particular hook what I'm going to do is bring the yarn through and just in between this little gap and through there then we'll bring it under that hook and then thread it through the delta orifice from top to bottom. You don't want to go from bottom to top because then you're twisting and pulling against the wire rather than working with the machine. Now, um, like Ali said, uh, Dazzler's Best does include the bulky plier, the, uh, the wild flyer uh, for free. Um, so I want to show you how to attach that. On this particular wheel, changing over to that is pretty easy. To uh, pull this flyer off, you're just going to start out by uh, grabbing the whirl and just untwisting uh, the flyer. And the flyer is actually screwed on to the front. Then you can just treadle the wheel and it comes right off. Now the wild flyer does come with this uh, large bobbin. So, to take the smaller bobbin off, I'm going to undo the tension right here. And we'll take it out quite a bit because we're going to need a lot of string to get around this big bobbin. We'll pop that off. We can just pull the bobbin out. And then we'll slide the big guy on. And then thread our tensioning string around. I'm just going to make sure that that tension seems about right. Uh, next thing we'll need to do is tie on a leader thread. So to do that, I'm just going to take a length of yarn and I'm going to tie a square knot. So I'm tying the yarn into a loop. Then I'll take that loop bring it around and thread one end through and then I'll bring the yarn around and thread it through again. So I've created a half hitch around the bobbin. Now we are ready to attach the wild flyer and you can see it's quite big, it has a 7 8 inch orifice uh, so that it can accommodate quite large yarns and it has a sliding hook just like on uh, the other flyer but this one is again quite much larger. So to get it started we can just use the whirl and then we'll treadle in the S direction and then it's attached. We'll take our leader thread and this one will go through the large loop here then through the large loop again and through the final orifice. And then at that point, we're ready to adjust tension and start spinning. And you can see that this orifice will handle quite large yarn. Um, I can put pretty big slubs through there without causing any problems. You could do all kinds of crazy things um, with putting different additives in there. Uh, just about anything you want to do, it'll accommodate. So, uh, check out Dazzler's Best.